that I trust. Where's your money? Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. Product not yet rated. Still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. But this, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Go. Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that fellow? Shh. One of her cues men. Quick. Hide. Over there. Te voy a decir una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. 
Move over. Come on, follow me. Another one. Hide, quick. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Careful. Seguro está disfrutando mientras tortura a esos bastardos. Se le pone tieso el petito. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of the store. Fue creado por ratas. Ratas? Creado por el mismo diablo. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando, ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Look out! Follow me! Let's go! <laughs> Maldito bastardo! Get them down from there! Shoot the ropes! Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Cool spoke of and also a guide. 
She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your foot. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, right? uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Saint Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, we're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos, vamos, rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <sighs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <coughs> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <coughs> just a... just a bit more. <coughs> This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? 
Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You sure you're all right, Dutch? I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. Well, maybe we've all just gone rotten. I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos! 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 They're all listening to that football. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me. Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. <risa> Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. You got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. 
Go on, quick! Create enough dust. This place is cold. for me. I'll get this going. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. Too close to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Maldita sea! Mierda!
He'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. You stay here. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. This will give us a chance to get to Hercules Fort. I'll be through there. what you ask. It's like I said. Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fusar has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kinda have to hand it to this feller. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we won. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Fork! Shoot them, man! Shoot them! Handlers on the beach! There's more coming down the right side of the beach! Let's be paid when coming back. Why the hell are we doing this? This ain't our fight. Do we want to get off this island or not? He's using us. Get that cannon into position. I'll get the ammunition. 
damn it! Let's go down and clear them off the beach. Wait, wait. I'll come too. And me. We'll guard this thing. Grab that shotgun out there. There's a lot of guns out there. So what do we do? I say we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. My valet. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ, sake, how many men is Rusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Down! We will have to climb up around the side. This way. With you. That much more to fight for Dutch.
Let's get down from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool, it was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hair cool? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hair cool? We follow you. Hanale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, mm. which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've... Here! <laughs> You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusor? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. They have sent the enforcements. Adelante, my Up there, in the tower? Yes. Yes, that's it. <sighs> this goddamn idiot. Come on! We have to take him down! Javier. 
Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear, probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. <laughs> we survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now, head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck has turned. You know, I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pocket. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Thank you. 
Keep sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around and see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Lacay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in Lacay.